Hey, what's up guys, Wally here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna show you three secret courses that will teach you everything you need to know about SQL. From learning basic SQL syntax to writing complex subqueries and creating stored procedure, these three courses will take you from basic SQL analyst to an advanced SQL coder in just $50. Now, I know learning SQL is one of the first difficult challenge a beginner data analyst faces, but it doesn't have to be difficult, especially if you learn with the right courses and in the right sequence. Over my years of experience as a data analyst, I have taken quite a bit of SQL courses and most of them barely scratch the surface. So in this video, I want to share with you three courses to take you from absolute beginner to expert in SQL in a very slow but steady step-by-step -step manner. Let's jump in. The first course is a complete SQL bootcamp, Go From Zero to Hero by Joseph Portilla. And this course is nothing but a starter pack. It touches on the first set of concepts a beginner must know how to write. So things like select statement, from statement, where statement, order by limit, and so on. The author shows you how to write them, the correct syntax, and when to use them. One of the first areas of focus in this course is on the where clause. And oftentimes, as an analyst, you'll be asked to filter based on certain criteria or conditions. For example, you might be asked to find all orders greater than 100 US dollars between 1st of September to date. Usually, getting the conditions out of the way first is always a good practice when laying out your code. And the author does a good job in emphasizing that. The second focus area to understand is your group by statements and how they must be used when writing code. From this one concept, you will know that when using a group by statement, you must use it with an aggregate function, an aggregate function such as sum, count, average, and so on. When it comes to joins, the author does a pretty good job in explaining the different types of joins and how to use them, how and when to use them. Although, most analysts will typically use left joins for most of their queries, but it's worthy and it's equally important to learn others as well. As with every section, you do have assessment tests to challenge knowledge that you just gained, but there are certain sections that are well explained and others that are not. For example, topics such as subqueries, self joins, and case statements were explained, but not sufficient examples and assessments were given to broaden the student's understanding. In the next course, which I'll introduce shortly, you will learn extensively about subqueries, self joins, and case statements. And your knowledge on these concepts will be tested repeatedly. So it is good to get a general idea of how they are used and how they work in this course. Two sections that you can skip to learn later are section eight and section 11, creating databases and tables. I know what you will be doing as a beginner data analyst. Your focus right now should be on how to get data out of a database and not how to feed data into it. And you will learn so much more about creating temporary tables and database objects later in course three. The PostgreSQL with Python section is also not relevant for a beginner. You'll most likely never have to use a connector to connect a SQL database to Python, although it's an interesting section. I just feel that's too much of a hassle for a beginner. And even if you had reason to use it, you can pick it up later. But so you don't feel like you didn't get your money's worth completing the course, you can gloss over both sections. The last thing to note here is that the course is taught in PostgreSQL SQL. There is an installation guide as to how to download and install the software, and you should be good. Let's move on to the second course, and that is the Advanced SQL MySQL for e-commerce and web analytics. Without a doubt, I can tell you this is where the bite of your SQL prowess is going to come from. This course right here is a classic. The reason why this course is my second pick is because it's a natural progression from the concepts that you have learned in the first course. Now, don't let the title fool you. I know it says advanced SQL, but I won't really call it advanced. I would say more of intermediate. Seeing that it does not introduce any new concepts, it only expands on what you already know and gives more scenario-based use cases and real life understanding. So in this course, you will play the role of a SQL data analyst for a marketing business unit 
in an e-commerce company. And I want to ask you, what comes to mind when you think of a marketing department in an e-commerce company? What type of analysis do you think you will be doing as a data analyst? I'll give you a second to think about that. A few moments later. Traffic source analysis, website performance analysis, channel portfolio management, product analysis, analyzing business patterns and seasonality, analyzing user behaviors, and so on. In layman's terms, you as an analyst will analyze how does traffic get to a website? Is it by paid marketing campaigns or direct search? How well is the company website doing? Are the landing pages leading to order conversions? Are the marketing campaigns leading to an increase in orders and ultimately leading to an increase in brand awareness? Which products are selling the most and why? Are there specific times, days, weeks, months, or quarters where business sells the most? Are customers coming back to the site? If so, how are they coming back? Is it true? direct search or paid traffic, this course will test your understanding of being an analyst in a business environment and being able to understand the business domain that you are in becomes super important. And that's what we like to call domain knowledge. So in this course, you get to complete lots of assignments, a total of 30 assignments as of my last count. On top of that, you get a mid course and a final project to tie up loose ends and consolidate your gains so far. Again, the main concepts you will get to practice are conditional case statements, aggregate functions, subqueries, and joins. What I did not particularly like about this course, which aren't that many, is the fact that some of the queries and codes were a bit too long. Even the table names were just too long. And it would have been better to shorten them and put a comment that describes what's in the table. Also, there was a big disappointment in using the word advanced in the title because as an advanced SQL user, I was hoping to learn concepts like Windows function, stored procedure, recursive CTEs, and so on. So I think using the word advanced in the title was a bit of a bummer. Other than that, this course is a classic. Something to note is that it is taught in MySQL, which is a little different from Postgres SQL, but nothing major to worry about. The last course here, and I hope you're excited about this, is the Advanced SQL Server Masterclass for Data Analysis. And I know this course says advanced, it is truly advanced. In this course, you will learn advanced SQL, such as Windows function, scalar and correlated subqueries, pivot, common table expressions, also known as CTEs, stored procedure, user-defined functions, optimization, control flow statements, and so much more. This course is what sets you apart from everyone else who claims to know how to code in SQL. With this course, you will become a master of the art and take your SQL game to the next level. There are tons of exercises to test your knowledge and many real life applications to solidify your understanding. Oftentimes, the author uses multiple approaches to solve the same problem, giving pros and cons as to why one is better suited over the other. This course is one of the few out there that teaches these concepts extensively for a price of under $200. So, I don't recommend trying to finish in a rush and I also don't recommend you starting from this course. It would be appropriate to have taken the first two courses I recommended before taking this one. So just take your time. It is taught in SQL Server and uses the AdventureWorks database by Microsoft to explain each concept. You'll find an installation guide on how to download and install both softwares in the introductory sections of the course. Now, one thing to note is that the author recommends downloading the 2019 version of both softwares for those using Windows 11. I was able to download and install the 2022 versions of both softwares on my computer and I use Windows 11. So that's something to note. But generally, you will notice that the previous two courses use different SQL stack and altogether haven't completed all three courses, you would have learned three stacks. Well, 
as a data analyst, you want to be knowledgeable in more than one stack. So if anyone ever asks you, oh, what tool are you comfortable with? You can simply say, I'm comfortable with SQL, with MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQL Server. That projects more confidence and shows the hiring manager or whoever is asking the question your wide knowledge. So as a recap, the first course takes you through basics, teaches you how to write and sequence your code. The second course dives deeper into writing longer and more complex codes with multiple joins and temporary tables. And finally, the last course solidifies previous knowledge, introducing advanced concepts like Windows functions, CTEs, and optimization. All three courses do not cost more than $50 in total, which is a steal. And this is one month's worth of subscription on other platforms. So pace yourself. You don't need to rush. You have a lifetime access to all course materials, so you can always return to them later. I always find myself going back to rewatch and review certain codes in these three courses, especially the last one, whenever I'm writing something complex at work. So guys, this is everything. This is the SQL video no one wants you to watch. This is all you need to know to get started and become an expert in SQL. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Also, if you want to learn about my top free Excel courses, you can watch this video right here where I share my top three courses to learn Excel for free. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.